Hello surfboard fans, welcome to the next boardshop.co.uk surfboard review. It's the Matt Vylos Swordfish. Um, an absolute cracker, as I'm sure you'll agree. Chloe and Dino inspired. Um, bit of the DNA of some old school lost boards, the round nose fish and what have you. But it's a beautiful combination of a fish and a performance shortboard. Um, anything from waist to overhead waves, uh, fast, powerful, chunky stuff, it can deal with that, but it's also got enough flow um, to work really well if it's a bit bumpy or a bit windy, so ideal for our conditions. Um, let's have a little spin around it. As you can see, fair bit of chunk through the middle, a little bit of nose lift, just enough, and this nice swallow tail. And the trick, one of the Barlos tricks here is this hip, right where the fins are, to give you a kind of a pivot point, good, um, kind of responsiveness in the tail. And what he does, he puts this little bump in, so you carry some volume and some width in, into just the fin area to give you the flow and what have you and carry the speed of a fish. But then he pulls it in this, this nice little tight swallow so that you've got that pivot point by the fins and it'll turn far more sharply than a kind of traditional retro fish would. So <clears throat> you've got this kind of um, fishy feel, rail to rail surfing, but you've got an awful lot more performance given those little tweaks he's made and the shape. On the base, pretty flat, pretty flat, and then into the traditional double concave uh, and V out through the fins, again, to help loosen it up and to get it turning and maneuvering. Fin-wise, comes as a five fin setup. What choice? The Chloe Andino thrust thruster set, of course, um, <coughs> as recommended by Matt himself. But what you've got is a fast, hard turning rail to ra rail to rail fish with the credentials to make the most of poorer conditions but with the potential to really fly when it's firing so if you want a board if you're only going to have one board it's a good choice but it also sits really nicely above a groveler or below a high performance short board it's the kind of board that you're going to be able to serve probably 70 percent of the times um, in the waves that we get in Northern Europe and what have you. Volume wise, it's pretty generous. The 510's 32 and a half liters. Uh, the 60 bumps up to just over 35. So it's a really user friendly board. Uh, it's been in stock for a couple of weeks and it has absolutely flown out. It's just really well suited to the kind of surf we get. Uh, and rather than sitting on a 28 liter high performance short board and getting no waves, bump up your volume a little bit, get sensible and get a board like the Swordfish, which is gonna get you waves. Um, as always, it's online at Board Shop right now. You can park exchange your old board against it, buy it on Norpsend Finance, and get in touch if you need any advice on sizing or anything else. Cheers.